Hi guys, welcome back. Happy Sunday. Uh, today I just wanted to show you a bit of new equipment I bought. It's a, it's a Randy and Travers <laughs> uh, leg extension, leg curl machine. So I, I just wanted to go through um, some features I, I like about it and some features I don't like about it. In case you're wanting to buy one, this is one of the uh, cheaper machines on the market, but it's good value for money. Um, so one thing I <coughs> I didn't like about it was this um, this pad is just sponge, and found that it was uh, rubbing on the on the back of your heels when you were doing the leg uh, seated leg curls so I actually made up this vinyl sleeve for it uh, you can pick up that that vinyl like in spotlight for like 20 bucks a meter so it's quite easy to mark something out and, and get someone to sew it up for you apart from that um, it's all good um, so one thing you'll notice with these machines, let's drop this down a bit so we can see what's happening. Um, the center of gravity, of course, is quite. Um, wait on, wait on, wait on, wait on. Um, so, because you've got no. If you have a look the way it works center of gravity is just there and your weights are there so virtually you've got nothing happening until your legs come out like this so the way to get around that is to way to get around that let me tighten this up everything's falling with it is to pull the pin rock forward and so that your legs are back in underneath it that way when you do extend weights straight away it's there it's very comfortable and as you can see I can hold myself with the, the handles on the side and get a good workout and then when you want to come off again <coughs> just pull the pin and um, plenty of room to get out. So, <laughs> with with uh, changing it to leg curls, you see down here. Let me bring the camera around the other side. Definitely cannot fit one more thing in this gym, I tell ya. But, we'll get there. So, to change it from leg curls, <coughs> uh, leg extensions to leg curls, you have to take the weights off, <coughs> which is no big deal, I suppose. Um, or, you gotta pull this pin and get the weight right around the other side onto here so come back around here again so some of the some of the deer models have a pin that you can pull out here and then just knock it over and put the pin back in <clears throat> but again, you're paying another three or four hundred bucks for those ones. <clears throat> so, again with the leg curls, is the adjustment bar. Now I found that the same thing with the weight. Um, as soon as you start pushing now, there's hardly anything till you get to about here about there so same thing again pull the pin 
and have it have it slightly up so that when you pop your legs on the, the weight starts about there the resistance starts about there <clears throat> um, so with these you got to hop on first legs up down to where you, you just start the resistance pull the pin to lock your legs down and you've got a back adjustment here if you need to go back further alright we're locked in and I can feel resistance all the way down Again, you could put some vinyl on these if you find these a bit, a bit rough, but if you did put some vinyl on them, they'll last a lot longer as well. And to get out, pull the pin, take this off. That's quite good. Uh, so you're looking around 400 bucks for one of these, whereas the uh, more expensive ones around 800. And really, there's not much difference except you can pull the pin on the side and adjust those weights. But you know, by the time you do three or four sets of extensions, do them all, do them all together, and then um, change it to leg curls. I find that with the leg curls on this, it's really good. You can feel activation all the way up. It's a lot more comfortable than doing lying curls. And with the lying curls, you, you get the resistance straight away coming up. But as you, as you come right up and over, there's hardly any resistance there because the weight's almost perpendicular then. So <clears throat> this is really good, more comfortable. And um, I'll just show you the adjustment on the back of it. No room in the road, no room anymore. So, yep. So, you just have an adjustment here. So, if, if you're shorter legs, you can bring yourself forward because you always want to have your legs. Always want to have your legs and your knees on the edge of this pad. Now you're having your knees out here, you're just not getting you're just not getting the right range of motion. So having that slide there, it's really good. And as you can see, there's a little weight stack down there if you need to put spare weights. Um, of course, it comes in pieces like an IKEA cupboard, but. Um, not too bad. Probably took me about half an hour to put it together. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in one of those, um, plenty online. I'm not an affiliate or anything. Just showing you what I what I got. So yeah. So that's another addition to my gym. Uh, if you got any questions, leave leave the questions in the comments below. But. Um, yeah, useful piece of equipment. All right, guys, I'll um, gonna start some videos shortly on working up to uh, one one rep maps max again on deadlifts. But I'll actually started day one yesterday or week one yesterday. So it's gonna take 17 weeks all up to to get to my one rep max um, new one rep max. So I'm only sitting around 180 at the moment, I lost a bit of weight and you know, like I said had an accident and a couple of COVID runs so not as strong as I used to be but I'll get back up there again. Um, Alright guys, have a good rest of the Sunday and have a good week and I'll catch up with you later. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell for upcoming uh, notifications upcoming videos and I'll catch you on the next one over and out